First draft of the night. Uh, warrior or priest? It's demon hunter. Eh, it was boring. Alright, let's play priest. Please concede, this won't be fun. Yeah, I don't think it will. Raise dead is already cooler than most of the cards in our last deck. I like loot hoarder. Spirit's okay. Alchemist is okay. I mean, they're just playable, but... We'll take it. Ooh, I love lesser spellstone. I like that. These cards are bad, right? I mean, you could take initiate, but I like this card. It's cool. Deliverance. Nice. Um, Tolvir is a nice card to get back. Power Infusion's okay. We do want a lot of spells, but let's take a Tolvir. Entomb. Eh. I've been unimpressed by Luminous Geode. I didn't love that card. Let's take an Entomb. And we'll put a Proto Drake uh, somewhere. We'll take Teacher, I think, which is kind of bad with Lesser, but... Reaper's bad, Topsy's worse, so. Uh, Wandmaker's cool. Uh, it's still probably Basilisk, but I'm going to take Tomb Spider because everybody has pings. I was going to bet on 8. I believe in you more than you do. Oh, I could have gone 8, but it would have been miserable. Let's go uh, Conjurer. And Fungal or Corporal? That's tough. Um, I love Fungal. I'm going to take Fungal. I think Corporal's really good, too. Wave. Yeah, Wave's okay. I'm going to take another 2-drop here. And we will take Spirit Guide. We have a Shadow Spell and a Holy Spell. And another Holy Spell. That's cool. I've not drafted this card yet. Uh, and I guess we just take... Well, we could take Stegatron. Very good for the Spellstone. <clears throat> you know, I don't hate it. We, do, we would have a second Holy Spell, but I think I'd rather have a second Shadow Spell. Alright, let's take Stegatron. We, we took a lesser spellstone with our third pick. And let's take another Wand Maker. I could see Direwolf being good, but if you get uh, Draconic Studies and this is a Ysera, it's kind of broken, right? We'll take Bunker Sergeant here. Uh, Legionnaire is okay. Dead Ringer is not bad. Card draw is nice for us. That's a great Death Rattle. These Death Rattles just cycle, so that's fine. Twilight Call, Nito. And there's another Shadow Spell. Uh, Pick Croc over Test Subject, just barely. How does anybody watch this weeb that bans random viewers for no reason? Weeb? I've only seen like two animes ever. That was my channel he was writing in, right? He might, maybe it was a mistake. <laughs> I actually did want to watch the first couple of episodes of Demon Slayer Season 2, but I have not yet. I wish I had watched more anime. Probably meant to put that in Dreads' chat. Maybe I should unban him. Nah, too much work. But yeah, he probably did mean to say that in Dreads' chat. And pff, so true. Dreads. <laughs> Oni-chan web. Uh, weeb dreads. Is that, what does Oni-chan mean? Is that bad? I just see, see that on the internet sometimes. Uh, Maddie Char, thanks for the sub. Mamba got me. I'm here for the second. Thanks for the entertainment. No problem, Maddie Char. The Iron Deep is actually okay. I wonder what its win rate is. I'm probably going to take the three, because we need a three, and it feels like it fits what our deck is doing a little better, but... Um... Weeb? Oh, I typed Weeb. I meant to type Trog. Um, eh, it's not great. Candle's much better. Uh, one Nova? Wouldn't mind an Embalming Ritual in, in this type of deck, but... Nova's good. I don't want these much. I think I'm actually going to take Assassin. I think Assassin's probably better for us. Maybe Anoyo, but we have a lot of twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, another Tolver's cool. cool. Need a, I was going to say we need a, a Draconic Studies, but if we have three Wand Makers, we'll probably roll one once or twice. Wow, four Wand Makers or a Deliverance? I think I'm just going to take all the Wand Makers, and that'll be our deck. Four Wand Makers. I actually like Cabal Acolyte a lot. I think Blood Guard's nice. It's obviously a really strong card. It's probably better, but let's take Acolyte. It's a class card. Assassin is an absolutely beautiful card that was revealed by a beautiful dude. Oh, it was revealed by a swell dude. Yeah, Dexter revealed this one. <laughs> oh, we can take Huge Turd. 
I'm gonna take Tomb Spider, try to find Picrocs, Worms, or Octosari maybe. That's got a lot of value. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know what this does. At the end of your turn, give your minions two health. Oh, I do know what that does. I think that card's okay. Uh, Ogre's probably the better card, but let's tell them to dibbly don't touch things. This deck looks a lot more interesting and a lot more fun than the other one we drafted, so. Cool on that, let's go for, uh, let's go for seven wins. Will we win seven games? Only time will tell. Um, gonna go peek in on Brooke's stream. Oh my god. Cute yawn. Seven too low. It says twelve zero written all over it. I would have set the bet to thirteen wins, but it's not possible. Um, also, thanks to uh, a million followers throughout the day, uh, Ellie Boo, Trust, Terminator, Stephen, Stephen, uh, Avenci, please buy me Putin, Metalhead, Kristen, Shadowy Parzival. A lot of uh, I'm assuming Team Liquid or or Liquid Plus. Uh, participant, so thanks to all of those uh, viewers, new viewers, old viewers. Oh no, potential new viewers. What if we got a million followers today? Then we should be having a giveaway. <laughs> Wait, if we got a million, sorry, no, no, not quite a million. The uh, close to I'm looking up the Kings game score. What well, we won, Kopitar scored a goal. I love that guy. How many points he got this year? He started out super hot. I think he's cooled off, like he usually does. Uh, oh, no. Oh, he's got 26 points in 28 games. My God. I love that guy. All right. Uh, let's queue up. Appreciate everybody being here. Is this the same exact thing? Oh, no. This is different. Yeah. Oh, just a heads up too. I don't know if anybody wants to help. If you got like two seconds. Things you can help me with right now is if you want to check out this most recent YouTube video, eh, I think more people need to hit the like button or something. I don't know. It's kind of bombing, so. If you guys want to hit the like button or if you're not already subscribed and have any interest in that, that helps me out. Uh, let's see. How do I see the analytics of that video? If it starts out a little slow, then YouTube just, I think, stops recommending it to people. And then it continues to do slowly or go slowly. Which button do I hit for the nudes? Uh, that will be the OnlyFans uh, button. Gamer SF. You will be a worthy foe. Uh, let's coin these suckers out. Because I can go wand maker into wand maker. Ooh. And then I can raise dead both my wand makers. Did we do a 1 HP matters video yet? Uh, no, but I have had games where 1 HP has mattered. And I think they made it onto the YouTube. But Mr. Refugee does not edit them so that it's like a 1 HP matters video. But there have been games on the video. What the? How enchanting. Everything's enchanting. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, oh, God. Wait, I don't have deck tracker up. I'm going to play another one because that card is sick. Um, if I raise that, I want two wand makers back. I don't want a toll here. Um, deck tracker.
Pretty good. Time is a real question. What brand of toothpaste do you use? Uh, I use like an Arm & Hammer baking soda and, and like poison. It like, it makes my, well, it doesn't make my mouth bleed anymore, but just using it made my mouth bleed. Arm & Hanger, Hammer bangs hard. It's, uh, it's, it's tough. It's tough to use, but I like it. I like it. I, I feel like it's really cleaning because my mouth hurts when I use it sometimes. I use Arm & Hammer deodorant, hurts to use, but it works. <laughs> hey, that's good, that's good to hear. How enchanting indeed. They were annoying, so I gave them an oops. Uh, deck tracker should be good soon. Ripper's not an ally, he's beating up on gamers. Hey, come on. I fight for the horde, but in the real world, I fight for good and equality. Uh, I'm refreshing my Twitch page, which seems to be miss a behaving. Uh, FDK Angel, FDK Angel. Happy anniversary, thanks bearded boss. Of what, sorry? I love how happy you look lately, thanks. Me too. <laughs> Oh, there's Bearded Boss's anniversary. Is Team Liquid sponsoring Pokemon packs? Um, I mean, no. Not, I mean, they're not like giving me Pokemon packs, but they could. Yeah, things have been good for months now. The stream has been good for several years. My life has been good for many months. And that's pretty sick. Mm. He might have another spell, but he might not. You got Liquid Plus stuff in the shop, right? I think now there is some. Let me double check for you. I believe they threw some stuff in there. I think they did. Where's just my red... Oh yeah, I can sign something in your Steam, apparently. Not much, I'll do that. I think they're throwing more stuff up. They're gonna send me a jersey to get up in there too, but I have not signed, I've not yet signed a jersey. What's up with Liquid's Dota 2 team? What do you mean, what's up with them? They're the best, they're the best on the internet. Uh, actually I could have bumped and shot it. I suppose I could probably do that next turn too. It's good to see you, Pacify. Welcome back. Yeah, there will be more physical stuff going up soon. Interesting. Well...
Well. DPC has been rough for them? Oh. Why would he make that trade? Um, I don't know. That was weird, wasn't it? Did he trade it off for me? Uh, what's DPC? I don't know what all the events are. Someone's bound. Got this. I really don't like this card. But yeah, I'm not sure if they're super experienced because we'll see what else they do. But there's like no way this could be better than just playing the rush and get, getting the free kill, I don't think. But I'll take it. I'm so happy you joined Liquid, me too. Completed the Liquid Plus Watch You quest, oh yeah? That's very sweet of you. How many points do you get for that? I hope you got a million. The Dota Pro Circuit, you play other teams in your region, and if you get enough, you qualify for the major tournaments? Gotcha, gotcha. I, uh... I'm going to lose my entire board to that, but there's not much I can do about that, right? Copy a spell in your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. I could, I could entomb it. What I'm gonna do is actually just entomb it. It, it looks bad, it feels bad. I think it's right though. I get to keep my entire board. Healing the 2-3 is probably better. Yeah, but I want, I wanted the Acera. Also, hey Tal. Wait, Tal was here earlier, wasn't he? Uh, two... Toxic, toxic. I'll call that person toxic. Thanks for the follow. But yeah, I guess if he just if he night captains, I just bump and then deliverance or something, right? But I guess then I'd have to use it, and I don't necessarily want to do that. I could play this, and then these next turn I could play those two, but also kind of don't hate this. I don't know if I have any buffs, but uh, maybe. Tall, did you like uh, Entomb on the ba on the Lord Barov or nah? Trash Queen, good to see ya. Trash Queen, I tried to buy Pokemon cards after yesterday's stream. I tried to buy Pokemon singles, but nobody would sell me what I wanted. I kept offering people like 10 bucks when they were asking for like 50 for things. Nobody accepted. I didn't think they would. <laughs> But I, I thought, hey, you know what, maybe they're desperate. Maybe they've been listing it for... If it hurts to ask, yeah, that's what I figured. Actually, maybe I should go look at something right now and see. I was just trying to buy a Rainbow Leafeon or... Uh, an Alt Art. We can get a Rainbow Leafeon for $60 right now. I don't want one for $60. I was just going by time ending soonest too. Hmm. This one has zero bids, but this person only has one This person only has one feedback. So I don't want to, off, I'll offer, I offer them less if their feedback's slower, if it stinks. Okay. Let's offer them 10 bucks. No, I don't want to, I can't be buying a bunch of Pokemon cards and we get distracted on stream. Oh, I need a Sylveon. Yeah, a Rainbow Sylveon, too. I have the Rainbow Glaceon. Hmm.
Let's ditch that. All right, I'm gonna go back to reading Twitch chat and not buying Pokemon cards right now. Six, maybe. 60? Nah, not 60. I'll probably buy one soon for like 15 or 20 bucks, probably. Another hardball question. Favorite water type Pokemon? Oh, Squirtle, of course. I love Squirtle. Uh, maybe Totodile, actually. Now I'm not sure. Squirtle, Totodile. I really like Totodile. Because he was in Heart Gold and I would always take him. He was the best. He could learn Ice Beam and Surf. So he was super powerful. And I loved him. Which website? Uh, eBay. Why don't you just break into people's houses and steal the presents and then trade them for Pokemon cards? Trade them back to them or trade them to other people? Are we gonna master set or just buying random? No, I just buy random stuff. I'm just buying random crap. Double trade, play the thing. Um, secrets or Mukla? I don't really want King Poopla. Um, yeah, no, I just, I have certain Pokemon I like more than others. Sometimes I go through like many phases of wanting those specific ones. Dibble, don't touch that. Twitch chat. You watch Island Grown? No, what is that? Kind of like this card. This is kind of doo doo. This could be, eh, whatever. Uh, let's hit there. Do I care if he's double trading? Not really. I guess he can bunker sergeant this board. That's kind of bad. Am I still in Portland? I'm in the Portlandy area, yeah. I'm still in Oregon. Well, I've, I've been in the same spot in Oregon. Is it from Evolving Skies? Uh, I was looking at the one from Evolving Skies, but I also like the one from Sun and Moon, too. Also. If I can get a Holy Nova, I'll shoot that. I did not get a Holy Nova. Uh, not Holy no Holy Smite, sorry. He's a Pokemon streamer pack opening, stuff like that. He's super cool and it's good to watch. Oh yeah? Island Grown? He does Twitch or he does YouTube? I'm getting crazy winds in Canada, it's 50 degrees. Which is nuts, yeah that is nuts. It's been like 40 here, raining every day, which is nice. It has, it has been raining every day for... Uh, two months. Uh, not every day, there's been like four or five, six days maybe that it hasn't... Uh, Bungly Mancer, that's pretty good. I guess buffing that one doesn't matter too much. Let's um, let's raise dead. I'm gonna say, see if we can hit a wand maker. I'm gonna buff like this. I could leave that up and go here, but I think stopping him from getting cards is probably pretty good. It's all the rain normal? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It rains. I looked up the weather before I moved here. It rains, I think, 165 or so days a year. About like half the year. It rains a little on every day, at least about half the year, I think. But I moved here, one, to sign the deal with Team Liquid. Well, I mean, one, to be with Brooke. These are just reasons, not in order, but one was to sign the deal with Team Liquid. One, to be with Brooke. One, because I hate the California heat, and B, uh, four, I like the Oregon rain. Um, is this is a good Nova. It's pretty good, but this doesn't die, huh? But if I do this, I can play some pretty sick stuff soon. Oh, I can kill it. Oh, I'm dumb. I should do that, huh? Yeah, let's just do that. And I fucked up. I should have should have traded that one. Well, whatever. Brooke is streaming right now on my Twitch. You and her are together. Oh, that's nice. I like when we're together. She's um she's doing a charity stream. 
if anybody wants to donate to the cause. She had a goal of $250 that she made herself. And then in five minutes, they, it was already eclipsed. So she changed it to $500. It's to feed hungry kids, which is pretty cool. Uh, not hungry kids, but feeding them is cool. And now she has raised 846 flippin' dollars. That's a hefty, uh, it's a hefty amount. I'm gonna take this one. Hey, give me that. Darn it. Where's the dual stream at? Uh, Brooke has been on stream before. We haven't done like a whole stream. She's usually like hanging out playing Animal Crossing or sometimes she'll stop in if she like has something she wants to drop off or she feels like she needs to drop off. Uh, double trade. I'm gonna deliver one. Actually, maybe I should have played this one. Probably not. Well, we'll just start doing things correct uh, later. Later will be a good time. Actually, I, you know what? To be fair, we did just max out on um, one ones anyway, so. Sure. Red, I had a game. This guy played the newer Ysera and it's so broken. Why is it allowed in Arena? Uh, yeah, why not, right? I didn't mind. I don't mind if kids are hungry as long as I have pasta. Call me an asshole. Well. Okay, I will. <coughs> Where did he get that from? Oh, he had a tomb spider of his own, right? That's enough to feed a lot of hungry kids, or one really hungry kid. Why not? The Blizzard design philosophy. <laughs> exactly. It's best not to get too, uh too hung up on such, such things. Ta, I don't know if you noticed, but we really drew a lot of cards this game. Which I find to be quite strong. Same reason Lieutenant exists. They said they're gonna look at Lieutenant, which I think is really cool. Like, taking it out, I think. Um. I would I would be surprised if it doesn't get removed. Change it to Lieutenant Dan. Oh, Lieutenant Dan. Dance, you little muppet. I haven't checked, but I assume the played win rate isn't lower than 90. It's like 70% for most classes. Is Sarah's like... Uh, Sarah's like uh, closer to 80 than 70 most of the time. He doesn't want to kill the thing that kills him. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I had a pick rock. <laughs> oh, so they told me what they look like dorks. What is that? That must be a Simpsons thing. What is what is that? What's my thoughts on the Snow Fury card? It should be like a one one, probably. Um, it should at least be a one one, I think. 
It would still probably be a really good card. I, it would be like a 5 mana 5-5, five, five, freeze the board a lot of the time. Um, I, I think that card should probably just not exist. Oh, is that Brannigan? Oh, I was close. Nah. That's the, the balls one, when the balls are bouncing. <laughs> that's like, that's one of the funniest episodes, I think. I can't remember all the lines clearly, but I do remember every time I see that one. How much I enjoy it. It's like we have a story about a bouncing ball here. He bounced 1.3 meters, then he bounced 1.1, and then he bounced 1.7 meters. <laughs> You know what needs to be removed? Wild Pawn, Templar. I think uh, not everything should be removed. Otherwise we'd just be playing uh, Classic Arena, but... Unrelated to what should be removed from Arena. We have a raid from Brookworm, my literal favorite streamer on all of Twitch. Thank you very much. How was the stream? Brian, good to see you. Draco as well. I caught a lot of it, but I fell asleep for a little bit of it. Sorry. Not that you put me to sleep, but... I was rapping. Can you see the present I wrapped for Brooke? I have more, but I have tissue paper. I didn't I didn't have tissue paper, so. I didn't have tissue paper, so I'm gonna wait and get I decided I don't wanna do one without tissue paper. Can I shake it? No, you can't pick it up. <laughs> that one you can't pick up. Because the bottom side, I, I didn't take, I didn't have enough, well, I had enough wrapping paper. I didn't portion out enough wrapping paper. So there's like a, stri a strip in the, in the bottom, in the middle, that it just shows what it is. So you have to leave it in its exact position. But I did also put another strip of wrapping paper over it, so it looks stupid. So you can't see it, but it, it, it looks kind of dumb. Can I shake it? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'll give you a different one to shape. Or whatever. You shake a different one. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, he just killed me. I'm dead. Darn it. One of my least favorite things was dying here. Oh, we're dead. Yeah, it looks that way. But we're 3-0. and oh. Where's Dread? Like, where's Dread? Where's Dreads? I don't know. Your opponent got you a present, and it's a big old middle finger. <laughs> Shake that, Mr. Redbeard. Yeah, he did give me the finger here. Nothing like losing to a couple of two drops. Yeah, this card's nuts. This card, I knew it was going to be really good. It's even better than I thought it would be. This card is so oppressive. It's like a two mana 4-4. Four, four. That's sort of like a two mana 6-6, six, six, or a two mana like 50-50. I, I don't know really what the stats are, but... All right, we'll just move on from that one. We do not need to waste an extra turn or two. So has a lower win rate than Knight Captain. Oh yeah. What's good? Oh my god, I'm so happy to see Blitz Freeman. I love that guy. Classic Redbeard with his visible streak on his bottom. <laughs> Come on. But uh, how did the uh, how did the rest of the stream go? I was popping in still even after I woke up. I saw some more. It seemed like a lot of fun. My favorite part was the Pokemon opening. But I didn't we didn't get anything good. But that's okay. You know? Brook is great rogue, yeah she is. Did I watch season one? I really did not enjoy the first season of The Witcher. I watched like, I mean, the first few episodes. I watched the first couple and I was very underwhelmed. I thought it was poorly written. We raised $846, that's incredible. That's incredible. It shortened a lot from the book. I never read the books, I never played the games. I just thought the TV show was poorly written and very confusing but not because the story was like complex. I just thought it was poorly told. I thought the fight scenes were kind of whatever. I mean, they're cool, but I don't really like 
that's usually not the biggest draw for me in those type of shows even honestly and uh i also thought the guy that played the witcher was really annoying he kept saying hmm after everything he said and it was so distracting it's like well we're gonna go find talk to a magic elf hmm Whoa, this girl is like an evil, uh, she's evil uh, after all, hmm? hmm? Yeah, every time he would talk, he would just say, hmm. And it was too much for me. But, I will say this. You guys like it, that's fine, I don't really care. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope that season two is even better than season one, especially for the people that liked season one. I do. I don't want it to be bad. It didn't have enough fantasy sex farts. No shows ever do. Old Lack Nerd, you're right about that. But uh, Brooke and I did watch the first two episodes of Arcane, and I'm all about Arcane right now, man. I want to watch the third episode quite badly. Arcane is really good. Yeah, the first two were great. Lattice05, thanks for the follow. It felt like I was watching, it felt like I was playing a video game in like the best way possible. It felt like knowing that it was based off of some semblance of video game franchise feel like it made it better to know that somebody somewhere had finally done something based on a video game that was done well. Tomorrow? Sure. I'll be available from the hours between when, uh, whenever the heck you want and all freaking day. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> you know my schedule. I uh, should be available between any time the stream isn't on. LA Kings making the playoffs? I don't think so, but I hope that they can stay competitive um, February, March to at least not be out of the race. Because they have a lot of young kids, and I think it's important when you're trying to get better as a team to not just draft young talent, but to also have them play games that matter. We're in 10th place and we're only three points out of eighth. So like right now, they're in a good spot for them, honestly. They, they lost seven in a row at one point. They won seven in a row. So they have the talent. They just need to get consistent. I don't think this will be the year, but if they get eighth, that'd be awesome. If they get ninth or 10th, I think that'd be still pretty good to like have the, the games matter. Um, to not just be like winning games in 14th place when it's May and somebody's resting their best player or people are looking forward to the playoffs and they're not giving a full effort. It's my gal. What's up, my gal? It's my gal. Um, I don't really want that back. Let's um do this. See what they give me. I have an opinion that red is wrong. What am I wrong about? You might be right. I'm gonna take that. I don't know what three drops I can get. I'm also gonna go here. I don't want him to get free hero powers. Um, I don't really care if he's trading there too much. Keep him out of playoffs. Red beard, they hurt my blues too many times. Well, that was when we were good. That was a long time ago. You don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, this actually worked out kind of poorly for us. Ooh, Zola's kind of nice. I'm gonna try to fireball this guy. I don't really want to entomb it, per se. The Flames would have only four players that don't currently have COVID. That's crazy. They postponed the games for like three or four days, right, I thought? It's nuts. Hopefully everybody gets healthy soon. Let's do this to cycle. I need a Draconic Studies. That is not helpful. 
My phone autocorrected Redbeard. Way to be a good streamer and autocorrect the teleprompter. I'm trying, right? Well, I can't let it- I could let it attack twice, actually. Might not have a ton of... A ton of minions in hand. I do this and hit and play these two. That might just be better. We could entomb what gets buffed, maybe. You keep discovering last. No, I don't. Flash shield turned out to be good. Eh, I mean, it'd be better if it was a Yasera. Now that we have a Yasera, it's nice. Hmm. Weird. He didn't want the buff there. Quick was playing like he was trying to make the Olympic team. He was playing crazy good. I heard he had 41 saves tonight. I claim to fame is that I... Whoa, goodness. That's not a good claim to fame. No sir, Rebob. Ooh, that would have been sick to keep. Let's play this one. Um, why does this cost one? Wait, that's what he caught cast. Oh, that's still kind of a problem, though, no? The name Jonathan Quick gives me nightmares. <laughs> yeah, Quick was, uh, he was uh, the best goaltender in the league for a season, and the top three goaltender for uh, four, three or four years, probably. Or maybe 20, 2010. Um, squelch him there. That wasn't great. Ah, what can you do? Got a random flame strike. Squelch him. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I understand. Probably not winning this one. What I think this game ultimately comes down to is uh, he played that... Uh, he played the... Um, nine mana do too much card. Like we can't beat it.
I don't think Bunker Sergeant is going to be that important. A super behind in Rogue casts 20 mana, it casts Puzzle Box, which casts Contraband, so a second Puzzle Box, and 20 mana worth of Mage Spells. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, if that wasn't buffed, I could take it. I probably don't actually want to get another copy of that, to be honest with you. That seems unfair and unlikely to have happened in such a manner. What the hell? How did I end up here? Hey, Dreads, how are you? You belong with me. <laughs> cool, yeah. We got pretty unlucky this game. I think that's clear to anybody who watched it. Slevin with the sub. Maybe we got lucky after all. Solid results. Yeah, the odds of that hitting... What's up, time? The odds of that hitting nothing but my minions... Not not a very high. Um, not a very high number. Uh, you know what would have been better? Um, almost literally anything. It would have been swell to pick up like... Well, I mean, actually, now that I took a million damage, it might be decent. But... Two days ago, you said the meta was good, and today you got kecked. Alright, alright. I do think the meta is good. Um... But there is, there is a lot of keckable moments. My day is rubbing off on you. Uh, yeah, I mean, we lost like a one in a trillion. Uh, Trick Totem Ice Ball there. Uh, he rolled a Flame Strike, which is not great odds. Uh, just kind of lost every roll this game. It happens. Our deck's not like un unbeatable or anything. Why you give up? You could still do it. Uh, no. There's nothing left in our deck that could beat the current board state let alone the puzzle box or the nine mana puzzle box he just picked up there. When you say good, do you mean it's like enjoyable because it's new and some cards are fun? Or you actually think this is like a well-balanced and skillful meta? Um, I don't think a, be a meta needs to be well-balanced per se to be good. I don't think it, we've ever had a particularly well-balanced meta. And I think the meta is about as skillful as it's been for years now. Um, it's just... Hearthstone and card games in general just have an inevitable aspect of as power creep goes up more and more individual cards will impact the game in a greater way and you only get so many cards right you're not you're not getting more mana you're not getting more cards but the cards are getting more powerful so they'll end the game more quickly I played uh, Magic for 25 years it's the exact same thing but I think the meta is good because most of the classes are viable and because uh, a lot of the cards are fun and the decks are varied. But I think if you get stuck with the notion that like it has to be balanced and like the best players have to win all the time because they played better, then A, yeah, you won't enjoy this meta, but I don't know if you will ever find a meta that you enjoy again. I feel like I can have fun with more classes than most metas. Yeah, me too. And that's just, you know, that's just my opinion, so. I do think there are cards that are poorly designed for Arena or for Hearthstone in general, but I don't think that's any different than the last meta or the meta before that or the meta before or the meta coming up next. I don't think that that's 
I, you know. I don't want to lose to cards like Snowfall Guardian and Abom. Yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, I have a different perspective, seemingly, but you stream enough. I've been through enough metas now streaming in four years where everybody says the same thing every meta. I don't want to lose to Evil Miscreant. I don't want to lose to Pickcroc. I don't want to lose to Warbear. I don't want to lose to Death Knights. I don't want to lose to whatever, the Flanking Strike. I don't want to lose to anything. People don't like to lose, and I get that. I don't either. I understand all that, and when I lose to you know the last guy, I still get annoyed, but I think it's important to be able to step back and be like, well, that hasn't changed. I mean, I hate it. My least favorite card of all time probably is Super Collider. I think Super Collider's in the meta. Nobody cast it on me, but I think the meta where Super Collider and Warpath and Dragon Roar was in every Warrior deck was far less enjoyable. I don't think I think it, people are very short-sighted with it's it's very easy to get nostalgic about old metas and it's very easy to like be in this meta now and be like oh everything's wrong it's it's like or it doesn't feel good or oh, there's a lot of problems but to forget that every meta has problems and every game has problems and life has problems it's easier to focus on the problems than to appreciate the the good things that are going on it can be situations where the way you lose is less frustrating. I totally agree, but I will say, in my experience on Twitch, very few people lose games of Hearthstone and say like, "Oh, well, that was that was fun," <laughs> you know, whatever the manner is. Oh, they top decked a Yeti, and I top decked a one drop, and now they killed me. Oh, well, that was fun. I guess it came down to one draw. Like, well, no, you got to play the whole game. Their 27th card and the way the entire game played out, their their 27th card was bigger than your 26th card. Like. But people still complain about that. And again, I'm not saying I don't, like everybody does. It's like, oh, well, this is a stupid meta. Cabal Acolyte's gonna take my six drop. Well, I guess it's a stupid meta. Well, how many of these have I taken? How many have, has anybody taken? Uh, this is the second one I've taken this run, but I played 50 runs already. I have not taken one of these. I don't think it's a super common thing that's gonna come up a lot. Well, I'm not trying to shit on Mr. Tarrell, just the notion that like, Everything has to be balanced, or it's not fun. Warlock and Rogue are really fun. Yeah, I think that Warlock has that stupid 2-8, which somebody cast a 5-mana 28-8 on me that cleared my board on turn 7, and then I was dead. I don't think that's a particularly fun way to lose, but it doesn't happen that way very often. I beat a 5-mana 11-8 that cleared my board on turn 5, like t yesterday or the day before. So it's like, yeah, there's broken cards, but you have tools to answer them at least some. And sometimes you don't. Sometimes you can't answer, you know, that Demon Hunter 2-2. Two, two. Sometimes you can't answer a Zombie Chow back in the day, or you couldn't answer a Shielded Minibot. And it's like, well, not that much has really changed. cards I do dislike are the ones that reward losing, which yeah, it's fair. This meta has fewer of those, I think. Yeah, so that that's, I agree with you. And I actually think, to some extent I agree, to some extent I disagree. I think there has to be cards in, in card games that re don't reward losing, but allow you to come back, right? So like, you have to have comeback cards, otherwise every deck's just an aggro deck and everybody who goes first wins the game, right? Like. There has to be tools from hand that can respond to board states. There has to be punishes for just dumping all of your cards on the board. Otherwise, the games just play out the exact same way all the time. I, I do agree that cards like Lion's Guard that reward losing exponentially are bad for the game and poorly designed. But I don't think the idea behind the cards is actually inherently flawed. I think it's, it's a necessary a component of a, of a card game. So like Lion's Guard should give less stats, but a card that can help you come back when your opponent's just emptied all their resources and they're a hunter and they're just tapping their hero power makes the game more interesting, I think. This something has changed in that there are at least a few card combos that literally have no power. Punch them in the face. Demon Seed. 
Uh, standard is, is different. So we were, I think, having the discussion in regards to Arena. Standard's been... I think constructed card games are so much harder to balance than than limited card games. So like Magic the Gathering Standard or Legacy or Vintage formats are just broken combo fests like where all sorts of absurd stuff happens and you just kind of throw shit to the wall and see what sticks limited formats are a lot easier where you can kind of you can kind of tailor the the card effects to a smaller pool and then a lot of core components don't change you have to draft a good curve you have to play for tempo uh you have to sometimes play for value you have to take your trades. You got to push face damage. You have to draw cards. Like all that stuff is is a core aspect of arena that just doesn't go away for the most part. But yeah, we we can discuss standard, Mister Little Ball. Hey, I don't mind that. But I mean, yeah, standard I, I think has been a mess. And I liked I like watching standard. Uh, you know, I know people are like oh arena standard. I like watching standard. Um, I just think it's tough where, yeah, you make a new set every three months and it's like you make 150 cards, but Hearthstone only has 30 card decks and you only have to run 15 cards. So why are you going to run the 16th best card in your deck? You know, like why, why is there a card pool of 600 cards available when your deck is comprised of 15 cards? It's kind of silly, but they want to sell you packs and sell you packs they shall. So, comes down to if they do anything. I don't think anyone wants 55% of shamans to have Snowfall Guardian. So, I'd agree there. I think that the flaws they make with Arena are that the appearance rates, that's what I always talk about every night. Every night we have this discussion, and it's the appearance rates that I think are more problematic than the cards themselves. But... I will say Snowfall Guardian is a flawed card in, in its card design, I think. You shouldn't be able to play a 5-mana 13-13 that board locks your opponent and then allows you to do anything you want on the next turn and then win the game. I don't think that that's a good card. I don't think it's a good card to have. I bump here and do this. I get to draw a card. Or I can deliver and have a clear board. I think I'll just do this. I'm just going to cycle this. If they aren't this common? Yeah, I agree. Brasswing is a dumb card, but I see it so infrequently it doesn't cross my mind. Yeah, I totally agree. I think they'd be better off making the rarities applicable for, for Arena rather than making them for constructed packs where again i always say it doesn't matter people aren't opening snowfall guardian as a common or a rare and having any opinion either way like people just don't care but if you play an arena run and it's your first arena run of the meta and you lose to snowfall guardian and you lose to it three times you're not gonna ever want to play again it's gonna negatively affect your experience or the people that play all the time like you or i are gonna be like well this sucks we're probably not that big of a of a consideration though because we're going to play no matter what for the most part you can play around it rabbit don't play any minions on the board yeah okay what am i doing here though uh, i can't kill that Probably he's going to drop a bunch of shit. Let's let him do something. If I get too drunk, you guys give me a code. Blue elephant. Okay, I'll be in charge of you. <laughs> I don't lose the Snowfall Guardian that often because most of my opponents seem to play it wrong. They just slam it on five regardless. In Arena? I can't say I've had that experience. I've had a lot of uh, opponents um, just come back from a board state that probably you don't want people to be able to come back from. But if you do, you want it to be from a card like Twisting Nether, which clears the whole board and basically eats your whole turn.
Okay, let's um, shoot this one. Look who it is, Tiny Jane Doe. Good to see you, Jane. Bert. Poor warrior. So I, d I don't think personally that they start up an arena meta and they're like, they, I don't think they give it any thought. They're just kind of like have whatever parameters they have built into the to the algorithm to offer cards and that's it. And then when a new set comes out, it skews everything because classes have different pools of cards and then they recalibrate and they typically do a bad job recalibrating after that. I wish that they would kind of go in and at least set everything to like a base level. It's usually like one class or two, like Demon Hunter's always juiced. It's always got a juiced offering rate. And I'm sure it's because they just haven't changed it ever. Not because they're like, oh, let's make Demon Hunter the best for the sixth straight expansion. It's just always juiced. You start a new arena run, you draft a deck. This meta has a lot more excitement than a lot of dual class. Yeah, dual class was a giga fail, so. I was really excited to uh, play cards and whatnot. But like this, like, I don't think the meta's bad because he had a perfect answer for my board state. I'm annoyed that he did in this game. Most people don't have the perfect answer on the perfect turn for the perfect clear, but at least it didn't develop a 9-9 at the same time or whatever, so, yeah. Could be worse. Do I have two death rattles? I must, right? I want Octasari. Guess I'll take Frozen Mammoth. Do I have more death rattles in the deck? Okay, I have a loot hoarder. Let's get this down before I draw my other loot hoarder. Even the best take a hit now and then. What's up, loots? Oh, dreads. Yeah, dreads is one of the best. I've been working a lot. You should quit that job. Maddie Ghost, too. Love Maddie Ghost. Looking for my Nova. Where is it? I already used it. Um. Wait, should I do this? That's good. Oh god, I need to I need to crack this first. What's in here? Okay, I don't know. This is not going to be great. Can I get multiples of those? I think I can only get one, right? A job interview got slammed. Felt bad. What do you mean you got slammed? What kind of job interview would slam you? What the hell? Or like it just didn't go well? I celebrate Jane Austen's birthday and date, date, birthday and date of death every year. I hope you do the same for me when I'm gone, Jane. I do. Is Brooke here? <laughs> uh, let's see, what are we doing? More crap. One, two, my cards don't really do anything, huh? This might. John like my entire deck. Why is everybody licking dreads? Yuck. I want that to die. Wait, he didn't want to kill the 3-2? That seems wrong, no? Okay, let's see what's in here.
Going through the process takes a lot of initiative and courage. True. Just try your best to shake it up and use it as a learning experience. Good advice. Just the fact that you're looking and trying is something to be proud of. I think everyone bombs interviews and you get better at it. Just like everything. Maybe next time you can ask for feedback. Yeah. That's very good advice. I agree with Mr. Talriel. But yeah, I'm not sure what kind of job it was, but any job interview you can have where they make you feel bad after conducting the interview, certainly not a place you want to work. No way. If you give me their number, I'll, let, I'll give them a call, and then I'll tell them I've seen enough of them and their stupidness, and I will, I will destroy their company, for the record, also. The company is going out of business. It's not going to stand. They make you feel bad? F them. Sell this right, even though he has a potty mouth. Even potty mouth Zelda's got a point. Had an interview that I didn't care about. It was the only one I had an offer for. My buddy Dan was like that all the time. He would go and like interview at places when he had a job, and he'd always be like, "Yeah, they I killed it," and they called me back, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't think I really want to work there." I'm like, oh, okay. And then he got fired from his job or something, and he's like, "Oh my god, I went to like ten interviews, and nobody will call me back." Okay, like, hey, you're probably trying to, are you? I'm applying at the bridge on 84th. Can you give me a Redbeard job reference? Can you give me a Redbeard job reference? I don't know you, but sure. Imagine Redbeard saying wise things. Well, I was agreeing with Talriel, but I used to do interviews. That was like all I did um, when I worked at Target for like the last couple of years, I was responsible for a lot of things. The only thing I actually did was interview people because I figured if I had a lot of people that worked really hard and were good, um, or I could teach them to be good or, or someone else could teach them to be good more realistically, then I wouldn't have to do any work other than interview them. So that was my system. Worked out quite well for a while. What died? Just that stupid thing. I'm applying, I already read that, Stickman. We're rooting for Stickman though, come on. Needed to hear it after today. Well, that's what we're here for. That and to win Hearth Games and to collect Twitch Primes. <laughs> Other than that, you know. Hey, did we shout out uh, Brookworm, by the way? I don't know if we did. We got kind of caught in the heat of the moment there for a bit. Uh, we were talking about Brooks Charity Stream. If you guys don't know Brookworm, I highly recommend checking out Brooks Stream. She does a lot of. Wait, I've only lost one minion. She does a lot of great things. I've realized. I don't want to actually get a bunch of one ones in my raised dead pool. I'm gonna take the rush. Could be nice. I you got heat of the moment stuck in my head. It was the heat of the moment. Brooke rated us? Yeah. How do you think we got 650 viewers this fast? She did a charity stream and she raised 800 and... Hold on, let me get the exact number. 846 dollars? Let's round it up to 850 dollars for hungry kids. Uh, I hope he kills the this thing. Hmm. Oh, I could rush now though, huh? I like that hit from him. Someone gave me a gift except Brooke while I was sleeping. Nice. Nice. Brooke gave me a sub once. Wow. I hope she didn't go to bed already. She was very tired. She was very tired. Um, the problem is casting a spell gives him another trog. Wow. Crazy. Um... 
If I play that, I can play the two. I'm just gonna play this. I guess I can start with this. That's really good. If I can clear the board, then I can play this and take the biggest thing he he has at one point. If he plays one big minion. Feels like a circle setup. Circle? Cycle? Cycle? I doubt he's quote unquote setting up for cycle on curve on seven here. Maybe. He might not have a great play and he might have a cycle, but I had nothing on board. It's not like I had like six minions on board or anything. Looks like he just has a lot of AoE and very little of it is 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 affecting effective right now. Also, this deck was fun. I'm glad we got five wins. This is a cool deck. I think Wand Maker is a cool card. I think metas with Wand Maker are are pretty cool most of the time. I love Scholomance. Yeah, Scholomance I think is a good meta. The studies cards are very strong, but um, good. Poor Demon Hunter. Oh, come on. The combo is satisfying. People don't like this card in general. I've always kind of enjoyed it. I'm gonna BM him a little bit, okay? Oh, I thought I was gonna get it back. Okay, I didn't get it back. <laughs> I thought I would though, it just seemed like what was gonna happen. I was popping off with a double Trick Totem earlier, Red. It made me think of you. <laughs> Do I like Trick Totem more than most people? I think everybody likes Trick Totem. Except Dreads and Judge. Maybe Judge likes Trick Totem. Dreads hates fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, I can see the left, the event list. Trick, oh my god, why is that Trick Totem a 9-4 Divine Shield? Uh, two Trick Totems. Can I see what he was doing? No. Oh, he's just attacking. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I like Trick Totem. When, when Trick Totem does good things, it feels quite nice. I need three damage. Judge loves Trick Totem? Okay. Then only Dreads hates fun. Dose played Trick, lost him several games. Dose of Coffee for sure enjoys fun. He definitely throws games. <laughs> he throws games to make things happen, and I respect it. You know who else does that too is Orange Crush. Both those guys are leaderboard level players. I, I, like, I like that type of Hearthstone more myself than just trying to like min-max the highest value, best play every turn. Um, I, I don't think, you know, I think it's impressive and, and you know, that that is a hard thing to do at a at a super high level. It's not like anyone could do it or everyone could do it, but it's less enjoyable for me personally. He flipped his attack and HP and then Divine Shield buffed himself more every turn. Two HP from the priest passive spell. Yeah, the passive spells are really good with Trick Totem. Even the um the warlock one. I did that yesterday, and I cast the uh, the passive thing and started like turned him into a four four. But like he got something off, and then I don't know. I was able. I think I was able to like stall it a turn. 
Then he got something else off that was good, and then he ate himself and turned him into a 4-4. Civil war between arena players who don't use draft assist and those who do. Are we, are we doing a civil war too? So many civil wars these days, it's hard to keep track. It all comes down to this for the bet. Hey, it was cool. We were two and two, and now we're six and two. If he pre hits, I'm going to trade. Since he didn't, I'm in a bit of trouble. Let's see what we can hit. Spend one. I go back to three. Sorry, let me think. Uh, or I bump, I go to one. Oh, then I just go to four. I get to draw a card. That's kind of nice. Why did I do that? Wait, is that good too though? Maybe that's fine also. I forgot his guy got healed, but I... Mm. Okay, I probably should have healed and traded. I want to stall to my yog box? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is fine. Can I talk to the Team Liquid chatter? Which one? Oh, to Team Liquid, the mod? I don't think that's, I think that's just a bot. That was a bit of a dreads play. Uh, it's still fine, right? Because we go up to four health. So we draw a card and we gain um, stuff. I'm, I'm okay with it. Now, had I remembered what the cards did, I'd maybe look smarter, but... You know, it's a minor detail. I can play Fungal there, but I don't really like Fungal on one minion. It's not a bot, right? I think it is a bot. I think so. All they ever write is go to the Team Liquid apparel store. Every 20 minutes on the, on the, on the minute. <laughs> that probably is just a regular chatter. It's just a bot now. Yeah, there's probably like somebody that like logs in or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Good fungal now. It's not great. Not awful. You trade and play a three and a two, which is also not terrible. I guess this could be okay. Amazon gave me another epic card. Jane, I have another, um... Let's do this. Kind of cool, right? Um, sorry, Brooke was doing her charity stream earlier, and she messaged me this morning and said, "Hey, is it okay? I did. I, I did do some charity incentives. I thought, oh, okay, maybe have Redbeard come on do a co-op. Maybe you know, signed Redbeard a, a eight by eleven photo, maybe to give away to the top contributor. And she's like, I'm gonna open uh, the Pokemon packs I bought for you for Christmas and what? I was like, what? <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's fine. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? She's like, um, oh, I'll buy more. I'm like, no, no, I'm trying to convince her not to buy more. And then I'll just buy more and we'll open those. So she doesn't have, like, it's good if it went to charity, right? Another Runeterra sponsored thing? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I opened two of them. I thought that was all of them. <laughs> uh, 
I didn't realize I had been such a good boy this year to get uh, where the hell did he get that from? Oh, sinister deal. I didn't realize I had been such a good boy to get more than two Pokemon packs. Can't argue for charity. I wouldn't argue even if it wasn't. I mean, I don't really spend a lot of time arguing with Bookworm. It's not the type of uh, relationship we have. We got one of them there. Healthy relationships where we support each other. It's wonderful. <laughs> I highly recommend it to anybody who could acquire such a thing. Sinister Deal, Dragon, Ysera, maybe. You've been a naughty boy, so you will only open Colossals. <laughs> I hope not. There's a there's like a full art or, a, or like a rainbow Colossal, I think. I heard Santa's bringing you coal, so it won't be an empty Christmas. That's fine. I, um... I take the 50-50, it kind of feels like fart, because I could take whatever I want at some point, but I can't get through this card, which is a humongoloid problem. I think I'm going to take the 50-50 and just feel bad. Just don't lose the 50-50. I need 4 damage, 4-6. How do I find four? I can't. And I don't have any AoE. I, got, I think I have to go for it. Could keep the Fishy Flyer alive last turn? Um, maybe. Oh, by healing? Eh, he probably just uses a spell to kill it. Hmm, that's too bad. Can heal this one, I guess. That's a bummer. That's a pretty big 50-50. Revive the flyer? No, it comes back as a 1-1. One, one. Unless you wanted to revive it and not play this. Yeah, maybe. Were we guaranteed to get the fish? That's your whole turn. You don't develop anything. I, I like this play. If you just win the 50-50, you probably win the game. Which, yeah, that's a that's a tall ask, but... Not impossible. Awkward turn here. I was kind of hoping to pick up something that I could squeeze, like a wand maker or something would be really nice. I can't take that damage, though. So. Sucks to spend three mana on a heal that turn. Sup, ready, big Philly. I went one and three with a deck with two Yseris because I went second three times and I'm sad. Wow, that is pretty pretty bad. Like it feels bad. Two Yseris is not very common. I did see Dreads with three Yseris the other day. It was something. This is the going first meta. Every meta is the going first meta. I haven't noticed it to be a bigger difference in this meta than any different in every, any other meta. It probably is. I don't know if it's better or worse, but haven't noticed it too much, so that's usually a good thing. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That's a deceptively annoying card at times. I can kill it, but I have to invest like my whole turn. Or I can not invest my whole turn and leave it up. Like those are my options. So. Like I can invest my whole turn developing. 
<laughs> I'm getting a 3-3 instead of a 4-1. I, I could have put this down, I guess, and left it up. Two mana, remove nine power from the board. That's that's good. I will give him that. I will admit that. Three Aceres is too many, is it? I'd run three Aceres quite happily. Are we winning today? This is our first run. Uh, we started out two and two, now we're six and two, and we have five minions on board. That's a good spot to be. Um, yeah, I think a six win run is reasonable. The priest is not a juggernaut of a class. You shouldn't sin in a child's card game. I have sinned in my pants. Is there any chance you could stop whining throughout the entire game that you're winning easily, Mr. Beard? Ooh, bad take, Lyra. Because you're a regular here, I won't rip into you too hard, but bad take. If you're having a bad day, I, I apologize on behalf of whoever mistreated you, but do me a big favor and don't try to take it out on me. Lame, lame approach. I think he was being sarcastic. Maybe. But as that's his first message of the day and the only message he's, I think, or maybe not, but. I thought it was a clear joke. Hmm, probably not. Okay, let's summon stuff or clear stuff. Mm. Do I have holy spells? I have a deliverance and that's it. But I don't mind drawing deliverance. So it gives us better odds to draw pick croc. Banim, I think if it had been a new person I would have. Sometimes you just miss, that's okay. But I know Lyra does not mean to in, in, incite the streamer like some other people might be more inclined to do. But we have done it. We have climbed from two and two up to seven and two. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. Will we win seven games? Yes, we will. Let's go with 10. And I'll give you guys two minutes. And... See if we can get a few more wins. Okay. Second's fun. I think having a bunch of wand makers makes it fun. Oh, also I love lesser spellstone, lesser diamond spellstone. I've been a big fan for a long time. Uh, Cup of Hedgehog, what up Cup? What's my best class this meta? Demon Hunter is supposed to be the best, but I can't get any good decks. I have only played one Demon Hunter, I think. Or maybe zero. Maybe, I think I played one. 
Uh, I don't like Demon Hunter. I find it to be boring. I've had a lot of success with Rogue and a lot of success with Shaman. Mm. Uh, what other classes are there? Paladin, Warlock. Paladin and Warlock have been okay. Actually, when in doubt, I should just go over to the YouTube and see what runs are up on YouTube. And that's usually a good indicator of what classes are good in the meta. Warlock. Warlock. We have two Warlocks, a Paladin, a Rogue, and a Shaman. So yeah. And I'm not playing much Team in Hunter, so... That's about right. Druid, bottom half. I've only done one Druid, and I got six wins with it. It was kind of fun. But I think we high rolled the deck, so. Um. When did Redbeard join Team Liquid? I actually joined Team Liquid like two months ago. Um, it was a contributing factor in my decision to move to Oregon. Uh, but they announced the signing uh, yesterday. If I can get the uh, three drop that pings the whole board, that'd be kind of cool. Well, Shroom actually matches up pretty well against this board. And well, <laughs> it could have. It could have done that. That's actually really bad for us. Because uh, now we get the stupid Twilight's call. We have the test subject in the pool. Peace Inc. What's up, Peace Inc? How are you, Peace Inc? Uh... I can just do this, I guess. That could have been better. Hachi, what's up, Hachi? Uh, that's fine. I don't really care about that thing. Maybe I can get a uh, Deliverance. This is not Deliverance. Let's find a beast. Entomb? I don't really like Entomb that much. Certainly not here. Not Entombing half of a 3-drop or a 5-drop or whatever. I'm here for half an hour. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, maybe you are. I don't know. I haven't kept track of your entire movements. If I could get one more mana crystal this turn, like if I had like a card to give me one mana crystal this turn, that'd be great. Um, we got the good death rattles back. 20 minutes, but I'm fine. That's good. You have a nice day. Just play this guy. He's got Reno. Oh, good. Reno sucks. I don't care if he gains life. I hope he has his Reno in his hand right now. It's the kind of term that a turn a scream would be nice on. Uh, yeah. Because we have a, a removal spell for like an 8 drop if he played one after, but... This card is late to the party. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick Croc this so that he'll trade, so that I can Entomb and Deliverance on one turn. Or I could deliver it, I guess, actually. Um, oh, it went to four. Okay, so we'll Entomb that and we'll deliver that.
Let's sign. But I need, uh, wow, is he trading? Oh my days, thank you. Why? I need another in tomb <laughs> for this. I need him to trade into this. I guess he never will. Uh, I need that to die. I don't know how, I need a shadow word death. Or maybe I just say fuck it and play this. Three, seven, play that. And then I, no idea what I do about the, I don't even fully clear the board. How many do I get here? One more to upgrade? I could play the wand maker and try to get three cards back. I could still wand maker and try to get a one cost spell. And I guess this is better. Wandmaker into studies into Deathwing? I think I wanted Wandmaker into the one mana spell that like gives everything one attack or whatever. So it's a cycle. So I don't think I can, I mean, we, we, there's nothing we can do about that. We need a scream, but we can't get a scream, right? That's fine. I think we played it fine. I don't think we had a chance to win it. I actually got a good roll here, and this is not the worst we could have done there. That card, eh, cycle's dumb. He had lethal. I do not think we possess the tools to uh, come back from here either. Maybe, nah, I mean, we just don't have a scream in the deck. Could be a big fan. So maybe he's about ready to concede because he's been stream sniping the whole time, maybe? That doesn't mean he's not, you know, he's not gonna do it or whatever. Doesn't mean that. Truly we live in an age of wonder. I'll take seven. When you start two and two, seven and three, certainly not bad. Definitely not beating cycle often, never beating two cycles. So fun deck. I think it's hard to get a good priest deck in this meta. And I think we did get one. It says we went six and three up there. We didn't go six and three, we went seven and three.